Hello everyone, Wayne Crow here. Thank you for attending the webinar. Nice to see plenty of people uh, on the webinar. Great to see so many of you familiar and even some names I don't know, which is fantastic. So going to get started straight into it. This won't last long, but it's basically the easiest way that I know to tackle bots and abusers. So first what I'll go through is how big is the bot problem. The bot problem is a big problem uh, inside solar ads, as most of us are fully aware. It's probably bigger than most of us, most of the guys on this call realize. I've seen entire lists containing bots over the last few months, especially uh, six to nine months ago when they were really heavy and they were in a lot of lists. There were entire lists, big lists containing just bots where people weren't aware. And it has put people out of business. I've seen this put people out of the solo ad industry. So it is a big problem. And there are two main culprits, really. There's bots, which just go through opt-in pages. They click links and emails, and they just kind of try and look like a regular, regular user. And then we've got abusers. So these are repeat clickers that seem to click everything. I'm sure if you're in solo ads, you've seen many, many times people just click through your rotators and somehow manage to get through 40 of your rotators in a few minutes. There are people out there that are paid to do this. There is things such as click farms, those type of things in the industry where people are paid to do it. They sit there, they change IPs, um, and they just go through and click everything they see. So how do bots and users spread? So there's obviously always a source, and this could be a loon bot creator. I've had a good chat with a uh, coder who said it's not actually that hard to create a bot. Um, and there's groups as well. There's groups of people that do it together. They leak it in to regular traffic so they can send it 20%, 80%, 80% real traffic, 20% fake traffic. That's how they get it in. Some people, most recently, a few within the last week, I caught someone sending um, bot traffic, pure bot traffic, 100% bot traffic. And sometimes they're not even aware they're doing it. So these are people that are approached by someone and um, they say, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I'll try it, try this traffic and resell it for you. They resell it and it turns out to be bot traffic and the person sell it is not aware. So it gets into the industry in many different ways. And sometimes it can be trusted people. But most of the time, I'd say 90 percent of the time, it seems to be new people coming into the industry and just spreading the bots about and that's why it's always best to buy from people you know like and trust because that gives you a much better chance of missing the bots um, and there's all there's just all sorts of ways of creating bots and there's all sorts of clever ways of creating bots and the abusers and um, which we won't go into in too much detail because we don't want people to create these so how much does it cost the industry as, as a whole um i've seen someone with a 60k list and they all pretty much turned out to be bots so this is the worst case i've seen and you can imagine to build a list that big um would have cost them around fifty thousand dollars for all everything they had to buy all the clicks they had to buy and i've seen this physically happen they literally turned they had click magic block and turned off um, and as soon as they turned on new clicks were getting outside of their um, click magic. So they had a massive list. As soon as they clicked everything to block, that's it. They were sending 20, 30 clicks. I've also seen someone $18,000 in debt because, again, they done the same thing. Um, as soon as he blocked all, there was nothing left in his list. So this, these two problems were particularly were caused when uh, the click magic bots went about, or not click magic, but the ones that got bypassed from people not and setting everything to block so that's how bad it can get i've seen bot sellers sell to mlmers um this is an easy pick so when we say mlmers we mean people with their own products and um, who are fairly new people in programs and um, you know without the the correct track on software so they pick these what they do is they give them a few sales in the beginning uh, looks like they're really fantastic and these sales are normally easy to spot so well outside um the industry norm so an industry norm might be 1% for a $9 product, let's say. And this will come along. That will have a 
five thousand dollar offer and they'll sell two in 200 clicks and there's silly things like this happen they can also fire sales pixels and all sorts of weird things and um, the clever bots can do and they pick these people so they got you know they haven't even got click magic so they rely on their server's stats say they've got a tool like aw stats or something like that they rely on them for the number of clicks um and of course any see anyone in sulu ads know that you can't go by that click magic those type of tracking softwares are the best to use and i've seen people fill a webbers all right so i've seen i've seen someone fill an a web will be useless leads and send from them and i've actually um had contact with one of these guys as well filled an a webber and um, you send it to an affiliate now they all get blocked so it costs a lot of money when these infiltrate the the, the um solo ad industry they can spread pretty rapid rapidly so ideally we want to stop the bots as soon as we can so they don't spread list to list getting ml mlm's lists and you know just give solo ad sellers a bad name because there are some damn good solo ad sellers we've got a few on this call um and we want to make sure those people are the ones that um take the industry forward so it's not just in solo ads where the bots are the bots aren't just in solo ads there is i was speaking to someone probably about three four months ago they quit an industry a diff, completely different industry because of the bots and the, the problem in their industry was 90 percent bots obviously solo ads isn't that bad um especially at the minute it's it's fairly good at the minute as a whole compared with six seven months ago um so they are in, in every industry and the other thing to notice note as well is some of the um less experienced the people on the call might look at a google bot um or similar bot google bot google spider whatever you want to call it that just crawls web pages and indexes them that's a legitimate bot they will go about they go about and record what's on the pages index your yeah, amazon has one um all these different services bing bot for example they use different bots for different reasons these are legitimate bots you can block these from your websites um as well but you're best to leave them because they will they will index it into google if that's what you want to do so they're legitimate bots the bad bots um are ones that are made for tricking people into um losing money that's what the bad bots are so in our case they opt in they click emails all these type of things so how do we detect bots? So uh, one of our guys decided to put this in. Um, that isn't me with a metal detector. It looks like me, but I've lost a bit of weight. So my podge isn't that big anymore. <laughs> um, so how do we take, detect them? We've got someone on the team who's fantastic at, at detecting bots. We've got two people actually in the in the team and they're people I rely on there kind of judgment a lot and they they know bots so we use things like white links so someone said to me the other day this can trigger spam filters it can but we do it in such a way that um that doesn't really matter we only use it for blocking these bots looking at the email addresses so sometimes it is the same ip address with six email addresses that click in a few seconds we're looking them them kind of patterns uh, manual checks pretty much everything is done manually so we don't have automated ways of um doing it everything that is triggered is always manually checked invisible squeeze pages so these are an, a squeeze page with two opt-ins in so if anyone opts into an invisible uh, squeeze page which is maybe under a, a frame or something like that um we know a user can't see it and if a, a bot opts in they go on a separate list they're then looked at spot and strange behavior so clicking a link exactly every four seconds and we can obviously see this across multiple click magic account because they've got the features to do that we've got our own secret bot spot and techniques as well um, and like i say luckily at the minute it's not as bad as it was before you could have picked up absolutely tons of bot ips but click magic has got round to block and all those more people in solo ads have got everything set to block as well so if you haven't that's a basic thing just make sure everything's set to block and um, that will just stop the spread of it back then it not many people it seemed had them set to block so that spread fairly quickly um and analyzing link clicks and ips so again that come down to if someone clicks if you've got three links in an email and an unsubscribe link and they click all three then you unsubscribe link then they go through and click them all again 
Um, that tells us that could be a bot because it's unusual behavior. You also got things like engagement we track um, and that cross reference to ClickMagic accounts. That's quite good because I'm sure a lot of people who've looked inside their ClickMagic account and they just see um, someone clicking 500 times in 24 hours and um, sometimes more through a many different click magic accounts so that kind of thing tells us um it needs looking at and could be a bot and luckily we've got um a very good guy on the team who you know he's shown me th a thing or two about how to detect bots so respect his um knowledge very very greatly so this is just an example um you know this is an email address coming from different IPs in the same time frame. Uh, just a simple little example. There's a lot more things that they do, a lot more complex things they do. They can trigger four different IPs. Um, there's just all sorts of weird behavior that we can isolate as a bot. We only we only blacklist when we know 100% it's a bot. Okay, It's not like um, we... Um, think it may be a bot, you know, we're 70% sure, let's blanket it. No, we're 100% sure that anything we block is a bot. So how do we detect bots and abusers? So in this example, there's multiple strikes. The white link, okay, so it tells you um, what I went through earlier. So the updated details link has been clicked, but the profile wasn't updated. <clears throat> and the unsubscribe link clicked but the contact remained subscribed and all links were in the message were clicked. So two real links that had a white link, an unsub link, an update. So they're basically, this bot is basically programmed to click everything. Um, and then it will go through maybe a funnel link in someone else's autoresponder and um, click everything. And then it will just go on its journey. And this is what, this isn't just inside your account. You know, if you send this to someone who's bought traffic, it'll go through their account and then it may go into someone else's account and it spreads like wildfire like that. So we try, we try and spot these as soon as we, we notice these. And again, um, you can see just another example um, of an IP being clicked many times um this is quite a tame bot this one <laughs> but i'm sure if you if you guys looked inside your click magic you would just see tons of this going on um, i'm amazed when i look at it uh, sometimes and someone's clicked 200 times in 20 seconds that's an obvious obvious bot um and abuser we don't want abusers on the list the real people pay to click and go through and click everything we don't want them on our list so the problem with um block blocking these bots is they're hard to detect without the proper tools and training they are really hard this is not a job i want to do i do not want the job of um detecting these bots um and i am not the best at detecting the bots everyone keeps a separate list of bots and abusers so that is a big problem if you're sending to someone okay they're buying traffic from you. they've got a different list of bot and abusers your stats are always going to be different there you might send them some bots which aren't bots and you're not going to agree between you on exactly um the exact correct stats so i could send someone um say i've got a bot list of a thousand ips let's say so i've blocked a thousand ips i send it to someone and they haven't got any block they're going to get better quality traffic because i'm not sending bots if it was the other way around they were sending traffic to me um, they might send 100 clicks that are on my block list, and I'll say, well, you've under-delivered, and they'll, they won't agree with me. They'll agree that they're actually sent the way it may. And that's where a lot of discrepancies can come in. And there's also the fact new bots are added all the time. They're not just added, they're changed as well. They can be changed. So if we come up with a way to, to um, you know, address a bot, the developer could simply create a way to get around it. Um, so they change and there's new IPs and email addresses added all the time. Click Magic actually does an awesome job of detecting a lot of bots. Um, it does an awesome job. I mean, the one uh, that spread a while back would actually have been majorly stopped if everyone had everything uh, set to block, all right, to give you an idea. But it doesn't fill all of them. What we're found is we detect them. Okay, we detect them before Click Magic does a lot of the time, so we can see what Click Magic has um, blocked. We can see the IPs and everything that Click Magic blocked. We find it, we spot them, and then later on they will 
um, block them as well. They'll, so a lot of the time we're ahead of Click Magic, but they do a fantastic job, and that's what you know. That's what they do. That's what they're good at. Automated ways of spotting blocks is what bots is what they're good at. Bot creators can get around scripts easily um, by finding what the script detects and go around it. So if there's an automatic way of doing things, the bot creator can simply rewrite the code to get around it and um that is what some of them do because there's not just one type of bot out there there's many different types of bot so how do we get rid of bots always use a tracking software so we recommend click magic obviously that would have um stopped this bot problem we had not so long back not completely but 90 percent of it, it would have stopped it going from account to account and everything else Always set click magic to block on all settings. Obviously, that is a good thing to do. The only one you um, don't want to block is the user. So yourself, you can just set that to flag. Um, use Google Capture where possible. So if, obviously, this decreases um, opt-ins and it can de therefore decrease sales uh, to your the people you're selling to quite a bit. So... You, you can use Google Capture. If I remember, it's 10% drop off on the opt-in. But Google Capture, again, is very, very uh, successful at doing that. And that's something we will, I myself, will be implementing very soon. On some of my funnels, I have implemented it. But it's hard to integrate, for example, with Wishloop if you use Wishloop. But there are software out there that can build funnels that you can directly integrate the API with. And the other way is using Bot Dominator which is what I'll show you here. So this is what we've kind of uh, come up with within traffic domination. This is the product that we have um, developed with the help of our superstar bot detector. Um, we've developed this so that it makes it easy uh, to block bots. So there's no, no time involved um you know you don't have to sit there for hours on end just adding these ips to click magic uh so add adds the bots automatically so one by normally you'd have to sit there and add them one by one we know what click magic's like fantastic bit of kit but if you're just joining us um and you've got say 1500 ips of abusers to add them takes hours because you have to sit there one by one and add these um ips to your um, click magic and the only way you can do that is copy paste submit you have to do that 1500 times whereas this bit of software will click a button you leave it that will add them all for you it's got a central database of ips so everyone that uses this tool will have a central database we're all got the same ips on there so we can all agree if we're sending if you send to another solo ad seller for example then you you know that you're going to have the same IPs blocked, which is a fantastic. That is worth it for, for me. That's worth it alone. That part, so I know that anyone, if I had to buy from someone, then I know that their IPs, their clicks are going to be as bot free as we can make them. You can also submit any suspicious IPs for review. So if you've got an IP and you think this looks like a bot, you submit it to us. Then our guy will check it. Okay, so our guy will give it a manual review. Uh, you will have to give a bit more data than just the IP because obviously he needs quite a bit of data to analyze it himself. He can look across other things, but he needs a bit more data. So there's a place you can actually submit any suspicious IPs for review because we don't want people submitting 500 a day and there'll only be 10 bad IPs. We want people to submit good IPs. Better chance to give sales. Obviously, you've got less bots in your list. Uh, you send more real people and real people buy. Um, customers will ask you about it. Over time, you'll find, I think, that pe people ask if you use this and it will increase your chance of making sales to that person. You've got a dedicated expert behind the scenes who loves to take bots. This guy amazes me. He sent me a document yesterday um, with how he detects bots, and it's incredible uh, just to see how he detects these bots. So, he will be working behind the scenes. He'll be the one doing the work. This is not something I'd want to do because it will just take too much time. Um, and I'm just not interested. I'd rather have someone doing that for me. Uh, 
so the care, it's a very careful process to only block if we're sure it's a bot or consistent user okay we've got 1500 abuser ips it's probably more than that now because we've just started the centralized list and it's over time what we find is over time a lot of the ones we find are all will be found by click magic so that's one thing we've got a way of cross references cross referencing our own ips with click magics and we know it's over time click magic block the ips anyway it's just that we're a lot quicker and we spot ones click magic dump you can even submit all your traffic logs for a major review so this will you can submit everything all your click magic logs and they will be reviewed this is limited because obviously this helps him build a picture of what's going on with going on within the industry but it's a time consuming process but it just helps them spot patterns within your account and see what's going on within your account and gives you an idea of you know you may have bots in your list because of this so then the ips will be the ips and emails will be looked at a bit closer uh, in this case it'll probably just be ips not e emails and the ip pool is consistently updated so this guy does work regularly on detecting bots and he is updating it and you get obviously if you get the bot dominator you will have constant access to that ip pool so you can always be up to date so it's in a nutshell it's about um working together um submitting the ips and make sure you're always up to date and then hopefully we can get rid of as much as possible any bot so how much is bot dominate i know on the on this webinar we've got plenty of people who are traffic domination members and for you guys it's free and i know a lot of people are using this already i know uh, i know pretty much 25 percent of the group are using this already um and i know more people will begin using this as time goes on within the group for non-members it's 29 dollars a month and that for that you get the software that will automate automatically add the ips uh, you'll be able to keep your bot dominator up to date and you'll be able to submit ips at the same time so this list will be list of ips will be an agreed list by everyone that uses it so we get more the more and more people that use it the more and more data we get the more and more bots we can block um so to give you an idea at the minute bot dominator is cheaper than 100 clicks so that gives you an idea how cheap bot dominator is it really is it's going to save you money in the long run because you're not going to lose customers through sending bots because there are customers out there that do look for all their traffic logs and understand how bots work um so i hope you enjoyed the webinar we're now at the end of the webinar and hope you enjoyed learning a bit about bots there's not we didn't go into massive detail um but i hope you really enjoyed this webinar and if you want to get access to bot dominate i'll put a link inside the chat i'll do that now so you can see exactly how bot dominator works and you'll love the way it works you'll love the way that we all come together and we find these bots between us it's not a case of we'll find them and this is you know these are the bots it's a case of uh, everyone who's using it will be able to submit the ips and agree that it's a bot so it's a really good effort between us all on blocking these bots so if you look inside the chat box you'll see it if you're watching this on a replay i know a lot of people are going to get this on a replay then the button will be beneath this video so it's now coming inside the chat box Hopefully you can all see it there. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that webinar. And if you've got any questions, I'll be online for a while. And I will see you very soon. And thanks very much for attending. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.